welcome back to our channel so in this lesson uh, we are going to discuss about comparing of two programming languages that which is from this left uh, panel and from our right panel we are going to compare javascript okay so uh, that is a popular programming language which is used by flutter to build mobile application and then javascript as a and people can know that uh, JavaScript is just a popular programming language used for building web application and also used by React framework. Okay, so uh, okay, we start uh, by how to name arrays and how to manipulate arrays in that. Okay, in that we create an array. We say list. Then you say names, that name, names, okay. Then in JavaScript, you create a names list variable which is do this, okay. Okay, so, so in that to uh, manipulate the, uh, this name, um, just uh, get a test. A void function just press and whatever name we like uh, test function okay. so in this test function we want to say uh, we want to add like object in this names list so we create that object so to create an object just create a variable then object and then mg okay we want to append this object into our name so to append the object into our name list just say name dot h an object like this okay that's how we append object into our uh, names list okay so in javascript we just say name uh, we first create that object object okay custom name then okay so to append that object into our name list just say names okay then object so that's how we manipulate our list um, array in JavaScript, and this is for that. And as you can, as you can see now, that's how the uh, symbol it is to manipulate between the lists. Okay. So other thing you want to talk about checking if um, the object exists inside our names and how we check in that and how we check it in javascript so first of all i want to check it in javascript so we say if uh, names that includes uh, gene in this uh when we have this object uh, names list, then we say include gene, so it will return false. But when we add gene like this, it will return true. So, so in that to check if an object new uh, exists, we say it a uh, variable which end of the checking check exists okay then you say names dot n okay so we just say name or item okay okay That's how we check 
if uh, we have an object with the name gene so in this case let me add an object here with the name So this okay this statement returns true but when we add an s into our genes to make it genes gene to make it genes so this statement we return check exists we return false okay so mm, we want to to test another function to remove this uh, object from our list okay so to remove um, in that we have names that remove where we want to uh, to target a single element here yeah? okay so you say element name okay uh, genes so so this statement I uh, um, simply remove and returns true so okay so to update our array first of all just create another list things just name new list close to then we give it the state names from above okay then instead of using uh, names list from above here we just use a newly created list okay so to update our state since this is a state for widget just uh, use a state set state method and we just name names goes to new list so this new list just returns an empty since we have removed this object from our list okay that's how we remove and we get rid of this name since from our object list okay so um, so okay so in uh, javascript um, we have uh, declaration of numbers let number equal to zero then in javascript we have an indie type number equal to zero okay uh, because okay then I'll remove this one then we want to check if this number is less than one in that so in that to check this one we just say if number is less than or is greater than or less than let's just say is less than is, uh, is less than two or one so in this case uh this statement is returns true so in javascript to write the same code to, for checking if this number is less than one you just say if number okay i know uh, some people uh does it wrong here like they just say they are using javascript they just say number is less than or less than one to write this symbol mm, code then that's how they uh, do it here in javascript if number is less than one okay then also it this statement is it returns true because uh this number is less than for sure it is less than say one okay so so in that the simple guest way is just to use uh, this which retains a brilliant tag
as you can see here is greater than or is is less than or lower than or equals is equal to zero that's how he does it in that okay so um, another thing is for checking the now variables in javascript check the now variables um, like just like an empty we say if number um, to m string then this may return true then in in uh, that to check the now values we just say um, van the same name but an empty string has and we close it then from the testing we just say if name so it's empty mm. okay so this statement returns uh returns true and also we have another method which is is now or empty mm. Or is undefined or now you see here so uh, this also statement also returns true because this uh, are returned false because this is defined and it is not now because we have an empty string so to check if it's empty in that we just say it's empty just like this mm. so to check also to check if it is not empty you just is not empty you see how cool it is okay so in mm, javascript check just like this okay guys uh so that's how mm, we compare and uh, how from our own from your own review guys i want you to comment inside the comment section to for your own suggestion which programming language you do prefer for in this case i do prefer that since it have a lot of data which are pre-coded and other than javascript you have to code your own functions to have such functions to ch for checking of those items okay so for me i love to use that for building my projects and also that you can also build web applications and also mobile applications everything you like guys okay guys uh, don't forget to like and share the video i hope to see you soon goodbye take care